Hello traders, so this is a part three of keeping eyes wide open to trade FS and US Turkish Lira like an owl. Have you watched part one, part two? And now this is part three. What have you missed so far? Or right, check out part one and part two so you may learn more. Each video is unique. You don't have to watch them uh, okay in a normal order you can watch part two before part one you may watch part three before part one all right very very important but in each video i'm highlighting okay how one can trade fs or us uh, turkish lira uh, keeping eyes wide open like a now now anytime i use the word keeping eye wide open we are talking about the price action itself the price structure uh, to make excellent day and swing a trading uh, decision. All right, let's pause the video for a second and I'll come back to it so we may continue okay, this amazing uh, discussion. Stay tuned, please. All right, thank you, traders. So let's continue the discussion about uh, keeping eyes wide open to trade FS and US uh, Turkish Lira like a now old uh, part three. All right, here we're going to pay attention to the definition of uh, an uptrend and the definition of a downtrend. For new traders, okay, uh, I would like to say to new traders that if a financial instrument is going up, it must display a new higher high. All right, so you see the price went up from here all the way up here. Uh, for that to continue, each time that the price goes up after a pullback, we want to see a new higher high. Any time that the price is displaying a new higher high, we know that the bullish momentum is intact. If it start forming, if it fail to form a new higher high after a pullback here, we will know that that bullish momentum is diminishing. In a downtrend, the price might form okay lower lows, lower high, and we want to concentrate on the new lower low. So contrary to the uptrend price action, in a downtrend, we are highlighting the new lower low. Until the price fails to form a new lower low, we will say that, okay, that bullish momentum is diminishing or is evaporating. doesn't mean that the bearish momentum has finished, but we will say that it's weakening and there is a high chance we may see a reversal unless we see a new lower low. So this is what we're going to use in this tutorial uh, to show traders how they can keep their eye wide open uh, like a owl. Uh, to trade uh, uh, FS and US uh, Turkish Lira uh, like uh, an hour. All right, let's begin the demonstration. So I'm on a monthly chart. So we can apply this strategy for day trading, swing trading, position trading, also for scalping on a five minute time frame, 15 minute time frame. And we can combine, okay, the definition of the uptrend and the downtrend with uh, divergences, okay, overshot, overbought, uh, okay, a stochastic or RSI or CCI indicator, all right? So the purpose of the, uh, this series of video is uh, to divert the attention of traders from things that are getting them into trouble which means one is using only technical indicators or one is spending more time on the technical indicators and is uh, and one is ignoring the number one indicator which is the price action so in order to correct that uh, uh, bad behavior so to speak all right we want to draw to their attention to the price action that's why i'm recording okay this series of video i hope you'll find it useful and learn something from it to start improving okay your day trading swing trading and the position trading on any time frame all right so as i said before the only way to control a trader or to 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 get a trader into trouble is to divert the attention of that trader from the number one indicator, the price action or the price structure, and uh, send that trader to trade something else that has nothing to do with what that trader is trading. You are trading one thing, which is the price, but you are now spending your time trading something else. You can expect a better result, all right? This is why we are recording uh, this tutorial uh, today. So I hope at the end of the tutorial, you start keeping your eyes wide open, which means you are concentrating more on the price action. Even if you see a bullish divergence, a bearish divergence, you see a stochastic overshot, anything else, you will go back to the price and wait for the confirmation 
uh, which means the prime must confirm the signal given by any other technical indicator. All technical indicators will give us warning, which we call indirect turning signal. The prime is the number one indicator, giving us the direct signal, the go ahead, as I like to put it to traders. All right, very, very important. All right. So here we are. So this financial instrument on a monthly chart went up from here. Okay. All right. Uh, to this point here. So we are here now. This is, okay. A new higher high in comparison to the prior high. So there was a high here before. Now we have a new higher high. If that financial instrument pull back without pull back and the common center line here is kaput, well, this is an invitation to buy. Why? Because the bullish momentum is intact. How do we know that the bullish momentum is intact? All right, some traders may say we use ADS. <laughs> we do not use ADS. We use the price action. The bullish momentum is intact if the price forms a new high high. Very simple. But for that the bullish momentum to continue, the price must form a higher low. Here it is. If the common center is kaput, well, we, we acknowledge that signal, that warning that the price has a high chance to go up. And from here, from the invitation point, all right, don't crash, don't, how do you call it? Uh, don't crash, don't get crash into the party, be invited. Is that correct way to put it? All right, so here it is. So after that invitation, we use a different time frame trading method to trade it. So you say, Joe, Yo, you talk all the time about a top down trading method, top down trading method. It's very important that you use the top down trading method to control the risk. As a trader put in the comment section for me last time, he said, Ah, George, it's all down to risk control. And I say, Yes, it's all down to risk control. That's it. All right. So here, yeah, we responded, we use the top down trading method, we buy. Without we are day trading, swing trading. So you see, our monthly chart, as a day trader, how do I handle that? So at that point in time, if you see a pullback like this, common trend is kaput, you are saying, oh, I don't want to use the monthly chart. You can switch to the daily chart. And from there, you break it down from the daily chart all the way to your lower time frame. You can break it down from this point as you break below it, from your four-hour time frame to your 15-minute time frame, or from the two-hour time frame down to your five-minute time frame if you are day trading. All right? But key point I want to mention to you, when a price pullback is returned, uh, and like this, okay, after a higher low, check one more thing I can do. Check whether where the price is changing direction is also corresponding to a key level that will help you to pinpoint the best okay, turnaround point. So you can see that here where the price is changing direction is corresponding to this uh, key level. What the price has done, the price breaks above this key level and it's now retesting it here. All right. Again, now price going up again from here to here. It form a new higher high. Well, we deduct from that that the bullish momentum is intact. Now, for us to buy, the price must form a new higher low. And if the common center line is kaput, it is our invitation, okay, uh, to buy, yes or no. So now we use the top down trading method to trade it. The price going up from here, our first target is the prior high, this one here. So you want to acknowledge it as those trades they did here. That's why this candle bar got a shadow here. And then not to assume that definitely you break above it. You raise the ball, the prior high, continue to go up. You'll continue to buy. So you buy here. Your target is this uh, prior high here. If you receive another signal above that prior high, okay, you take it up one step at a time. All right. So here it is very simple. Here it is. You apply that strategy. Here it is. You go up. So now prior for a new higher high in comparison to this high again. We say, all right, the bullish momentum is intact. I don't want to sell yet. All right, because I did not yet see okay, a new lower high or new lower low. Here it is, common center is kaput. This is our invitation to buy. We implement a top down trading method to trade it. And okay, from there, try going up. This is our target here. So let, let me show you that clearly here. All right. So you buy after the trailer is broken, your target, the first target is this one here. You see the shadow again here. As you see here, this shadow here, they acknowledge it. It breaks a bow, you find a support. Okay, you can use again now. You see, as I told you before, we have a target here. This is the prior high. We buy here. Our target is there. You can use the depth of this move down. You see here, it depends from a kind of V pattern here. A v pattern is about a victory a pattern. Talking about how to combine V pattern. And there are a sign at a day portrait, there is two channels. So you have that V pattern here. 
project it up that will be okay your second target so you move in this one you put it there okay you see that people did take profit here all right you did take profit here it breaks above you use uh, the same measure stick here it is you set a midpoint target and the ultimate target right there and you are mapping up your chart and trading and keeping your eyes on the price action the number one technical indicator instead of uh, focusing too much all right on other technical indicators will you agree with me for the first time uh, keeping your eye wide open as this butterfly did here with eye wide open on each uh, you see here this is a butterfly this is not owl by the way uh, the eyes uh, resembles uh, the eyes of an owl here so you too as a human being you can keep your eye wide open like an owl okay to pinpoint the best okay uh, trading okay a signal all right so now again price goes up again from a new high high this high is higher than the prior high so what is it telling us it's telling us that the bullish momentum is intact well for us to buy we say give us a new higher low very simple if the common center is kaput we know that we receive our our invitation card we are not gate crashing the party we are invited we have our name on the guest list so now we implement a top down trading method to trade it if the price start going up from there our target is here again as i said to trade before this is a very interesting scenario here the price did not hit the target there is always an ultimate target and also there is what we call the midpoint target so as i told you like this uh, v pattern here okay the ultimate target you project it above is there that's the ultimate target am i doing something wrong here all right this is your ultimate target is there your midpoint target you divide the ultimate target into two so here you do some similar thing again your ultimate target is this one here as you are buying here you can do like this okay here it is our ultimate target and you see george said that all right there is also a midpoint target therefore i will highlight it there and monitor the reaction of the price and the price now ricocheting is a french word ricochet i like that word it's a french word all right so you learn a french word today ricochet all right striking okay the midpoint target right there and that's where we are now this is about keeping eyes wide open all right like a now trading okay fs and us turkish lira i need to remind trader that uh, my number one bird is on it's not a owl, it's the eagle so you will notice that i've been posting video about uh, trading like an eagle because eagle is my my number one bird but there is a bit of a similarity between owl and cat because my number my favorite animal is the cat you know that so you have been following i said you love cats all right so by taking a picture of an owl uh, talking about uh, Vu de profil, uh, this is a French phrase, vu de profil, uh, the portrait, all right, we have a landscape picture, uh, the portrait, if you use the portrait, this is the shape of a portrait of an uh, uh, owl, it looks like a cat. Does it look like a cat to you here? It does look to me like a cat. If you look at owl, talking about a portrait, okay, picture, all right? So I hope you have learned something from uh, this tutorial also uh, that can help you to improve, okay, your technical trading, and most importantly, your FS and US Turkish uh, Lira uh, trading. So you can see that the prime went up, you can see here, from 2011 all the way to 2017, just using that simple strategy can help us to make excellent decisions and to cream the forest market consistently, keeping our eye wide open on the price action like an owl. All right? Let me know how you find this series of videos. Has it been useful to you? Can you do something about it? Or probably you like it. You say, all right, George, I want to use it. Yeah, it's very simple. Yeah, it's straightforward, George. Uh, it makes sense and I want to use it. What you need to do now is to go back to your drawing board, all right? And practice, practice. Maybe if you haven't been using it before, all right, you are not fit enough to compete with the best tactics out there. So you need to go back to your, okay, your gym, so to speak. Okay, practice, 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 practice. Boost your muscle, your fitness and everything as a technical trader. And now you are ready, okay, activating those uh, energy within you, those, uh, okay, skills, okay, so you can perform as uh, the top uh, tactics. Okay, this will conclude our discussion today about uh, keeping eyes uh, wide open to trade FS and US uh, Turkish Lira like an owl a pack tree. I need to remind traders that this is the end of uh, this uh, series of video about uh, keeping eyes uh, wide open to trade FS and US Turkish Lira uh, like an owl, part one to part three. 
we will not have part four but however there will be uh, another video that we will post at uh, two for elliot waves youtube channel it's more advanced chart analysis this time we will look at the price action alone using the area wave principle the area wave pattern all right uh, to focus what is uh, in the future for that uh, us uh, turkish lira so instead of having part four i will send you to two for idiot wave youtube channel when we will be talking about okay uh, the turkish lira and the us dollar using the price action and keeping eyes wide open like a now if you like this video please give us the thumbs up if you dislike it we want to know that you dislike it mark it down all right then i say oh george well the people hate that bell so much and they don't want to know anything about owl they prefer the eagle instead of the owl all right or something like that we also welcome your feedback your comment so we can keep the discussion going i always read the comment sometimes you may say george well you didn't bother to say to me i like my comment i will never put a comment again don't be like that i read them i acknowledge them this is the most important thing sometimes i reply straight away and sometimes i reply when i'm recording another video and i take them into consideration to keep the channel going up all right so your feedback is very important for us if you truly truly like this video all right and you say all right this is an amazing tutorial uh, feel free to share with your friend on google plus on twitter on facebook and also on reddit until the next time enjoy yourself and be uh, very happy we are the gstw24 traders talking about keeping eyes wide open uh, to trade fs and us turkish lira like an owl a par a tree end of uh, this series of uh, uh, fs uh, video happy trading to you all and uh, speak to you uh, soon.